she would just like dump you straight up like no no but you're like oh, give me a mixed signal like, in the right sense any daughter of zion in the right sense would not fall for us like his tolani badge was a little bit offended because she was second choice but i don't know how much it feels for tolani badge yet i feel that he's just doing it because he doesn't want to be alone he doesn't want to feel like he was rejected like he has other options or maybe he's trying to make nengi jealous we don't my youtube channel is pretty hot and today i am back with another bumble clock video finna them in it <laughs> i have no idea what i just said but i'm super super excited because i'm bringing in a new edition some sort of like series of episodes and that's going to be based on the big brother nine just season five so you guys, some of you guys that follow me on Twitter, I just started a new Twitter right away, so go follow me at Pearly Ha. I started doing the Big Brother Night Jack commentary because I felt like I could relate. I just kind of like enjoy drama, so I decided, you know what, take it up a notch probably. Instead of just, you know, your WhatsApp updates, your Twitter or your Instagram on Facebook, you could probably take it up on your YouTube channel. Wisdom. Anyway, guys, so that's a, that's the tea. So I'm going to be doing this weekly, the week that was. So I'm not just going to be doing. A, you can't kill me. I can't do it every day. I'm not that kind of person. So it's going to be like weekly, and um, I promise it's going to be interesting because this this particular season of the Big Brother Ninja, um, yeah, Big Brother Ninja is quite peppery. Like I feel like I prefer this set, you know to the last set i don't know if you share the same sentiment anyway i'm going to be talking about the entanglements because i think this season of the big brother ninja is supposed to be called big brother ninja entanglements yes that's what it's supposed to be called because literally everybody is entangled with this person there's a third party their triangles hexagons octagons all of the shapes you name it so i'm going to be talking about relationships okay relationships now guys there were 20 housemates for this season i don't know if big brother is going to bring new housemates fake housemates but this is just the third week so there are 20 housemates we have um nengi we have ozo we have erica we have kidwire we have tolani Bash, prince we have kaisha we have um bright o we have lucy we have katrina we have lilo we have eric I don't know if I've mentioned all of them, but I'll be putting little of the pictures so you get to meet all of them. But these people are quite interesting, I must say, quite interesting. But my focus for this video is the entanglement because it's all sweet. Now, what's the tea? This is literally not tea because I won't be this excited if it was tea. You get my point. Anyway, so, um, hold on. So um, this season, at first when we started, we were looking at um, ships. Because you guys, I know all of you guys are sailors right now. You're waiting to ship. All of you guys, including me, because I'm not even going to lie. But we start off with, of course, the most attractive female. I said I'm, I'm using the word attractive, right? So I'm not saying she's the prettiest or finest. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. You know, the most attractive female <clears throat> the most attractive that's what we see like what is generally known as attraction is nengi right so we first saw her she's i think she's mixed race and she's really pretty actually and she's got the banging body the banging body yes so we first saw her um we went the first day when they started doing about talking about themselves and asking about their specs and all of that so Ozo, who is also very light skinned, is an evil boy. You know what I'm saying? Evil boys. <laughs> so he said his spec is very light skinned girl with the booty. Period. And everybody was looking at Nengi like, okay, that means it's you. 
that's a spec so everybody naturally thought they were going to heat it off like be you know all gummy butty and everything and that's what i actually thought at first because i mean she was giving him all of the green lights and everything and he wasn't at first noticing like it felt like she was just being so desperate at that point because he wasn't noticing at all and his favorite person is dora because still is dora dorothy dorothy is a i forgot to mention her part of the 20 <laughs> So Dorothy is, she has an amazing personality. Dorothy is, is that person you want to be with that, if you want, if you want premium laughter, premium, premium laughter. <laughs> I'm already getting lit. And then you have to be friends with Dorothy. Dorothy is amazing. She has an amazing personality. So it's very easy for you to be friends with somebody that gives you positive vibes, that's always making you laugh, you know, and all of that. So making you goofy even when you're not naturally or originally goofy. So that's who Dorothy is. And so he stated that his favorite person in the house is Dorothy and he's physically attracted to Nengi but his favorite person in the house is Dorothy. So that means that Dorothy is some sort of like bestie, like somebody you could always talk to, right? Nengi is a person he has the hots for, right? He fancies Nengi. So after some time when he decided to come around, you know, she was like, I'm a moving train. Nengi was like, I'm a moving train, you know? She just shot because I'm a moving train, blah, 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 blah. So later he decided to come around and we could see that he was naturally like, John Nengi and he was always like trying to talk to her. They had their midnight talk sections and all of that. So we're like, okay, maybe a possible ship because we're with our um, paddle waiting to ship it. Brothers and sisters in the Lord. <laughs> we, were, we were already calling the ozone ship and everything, but I felt like she started giving him a hard time. And she was like, you know what? I have a, I have a situation ship outside. I have a boyfriend. We're broken up right now, but I think we always break up and come back together. I don't know the situation of things at the moment. When I get out, then I know, and then I can move forward. But for now, I would not disrespect him by dating anybody in the house or kissing anybody. She actually said kissing in that house is a big deal to her. And some people wait years to actually kiss her lips. So, okay. And, um... I was always like okay cool but at some point it felt like she was flirting literally with all of the guys i feel like that's some sort of game plan which i kind of like because you're not i, I don't like when you just come into a, a place or wherever you go just attach yourself to somebody i mean you're kind of like blocking like you don't even know that person is literally just a week or two and you just you know you have to survey you have to be friends with everybody i think that's what she was doing at that point in time but it was annoying a whole lot of people because it felt like she was leading this person on leading this person on and then halfway when you try to when you see the green light and you try to come and shoot your shot she would just like dump you straight up like no no but you're like oh, give me mixed signals i don't understand you know so that's kind of person that's kind of game she was playing and i think it didn't sit well with dora because Dora is like a bestie to us, and I felt like she wanted, she actually wanted, didn't like the fact that Nengi was playing around with him. Sometimes she'd go to Prince, and sometimes she got so attached to Prince. I forgot to mention him as well, part of the 20 housemates, I'm sorry. So she got attached to, to, uh, to Prince, and um, it was a little bit hard for us, because he's a gentle person, he's a 3 C cool, calm, collected, so he wouldn't like ordinarily go and start causing drama or whatever, he just so to avoid her, not avoid per se, but not to get involved in the triangle, whatever. So he wasn't talking to her as much as I would as he would want to. And um, he was spending more time with Dorothy. And I think Nengi was a little bit disturbed about it because she was always talking to other housemates. Do you know that he's ignoring me? Do you know that he walked out of, uh, out of me? Do you know he did this, he did that, and all of that. And but guys this is the third week i'm just doing a whole recap for you for the first and second week this is the third week this is currently saturday we're about to, a few hours time they'll start their party everything has changed the dynamics has changed also is the head of house currently and nengi is getting um after she, he chose Dorothy as deputy instead of nengi there was a little bit of tension here and there but she's coming around and they kind of like together. I think there's a possible ship, like they talk so much. 
um she feeds him you know nengi actually feeds somebody that's like okay i don't you know i think she's slowly falling for Zor, and i don't think anybody in the right sense any daughter of zion in the right sense would not fall for Zor. like he's literally so calm mature intelligent handsome okay handsome a speck and he's everything so basically i think she's falling for Ozo. so they kind of like together now what happens to prince because at one point she was telling him jokingly i mean nengi was telling prince jokingly you know i'm just using the past time and she's like i'm just joking and then she's like i'm not really joking so literally she was telling the truth because she just used prince the past time probably to get also jealous or whatever now prince is falling back to Tolani badge and i don't know what to make out of that i don't know if he i feel like Tolani badge was a little bit offended because she was second choice but i don't know how much he feels for Tolani badge yet i feel that he's just doing it because he doesn't want to be alone and he doesn't want to feel like he was rejected like he has other options or maybe he's trying to make nengi jealous we don't know i personally like prince a lot so you know and also a lot they're good they're both good guys they're you know mature and all of that so um let's see what happens because that's the sheep concern that's the entanglement situation so this is the first episode of entanglements because guys i'm going to be talking not just about us prince nengi i'm going to be talking about other possible entanglements because we have other ones there as well so but this is how far i can talk about this first episode i'm going to give you guys the gist about the week that was that's next week so i'm going to be giving you guys just weekly and we go from there so Welcome me into the Big Brother Nine Jack commentary. I am the Invisible Housemaid. That's, that's my name on Twitter. But it's apparently hard, right? But I'm called the Invisible Housemaid because I'm there, but you can't see me. Period. <laughs> but seriously, this season has a whole lot. It's just the third week and we have a whole lot of Jews. So guys, subscribe to this channel. I'm giving you guys the gist. The gist, the juicy gist. Every room, every corner, bass boost, bass boost were there so subscribe hit the like button comment down below what you think about this situation ships and ships in the house possible ships in the house entanglements and all of that comment down below give me a huge thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel share this video and um i'll see you guys next week sunday so until i come your way next week sunday take care of yourself and each other spread love not hate and i'll see you guys in my next video but I go spray you down. Please keep me warm.